Welcome back and thank you for staying with Checkpoint. Now turning to South Africa where results from 99% of voting districts have been declared with the ruling ANC getting a dismal 40% of seats in the National Assembly. The party secretary admitted there was nothing to celebrate as they have to form a coalition government. The ruling party now finds itself at crossroads as it tries to find a partner that will see it share power for the first time. Now, the center-right Democratic Alliance remains the second-ranked party with 22%, with the new Umhonto Wesizwe party led by ex-president Jacob Zuma in third place with 15%. It has refused to work with President Ramaphosa. Alex Chiari has been keeping tabs on the situation there. Here is his story, voiced by our senior news editor, Lilia Nodera. The persistent power rationing in South Africa, which locals call load shedding, have been a sign of trouble for the country and a gathering storm for the ruling ANC party. So, when the country went to the polls last week, President Cyril Ramaphosa sounded hopeful, yet deep down, he might have been aware of the brewing trouble. Our people have spoken. Whether we like it or not, they have spoken. As the leaders of political parties, as all those who occupied or occupy positions of responsibility in society, we have heard the voices of our people and we must respect their choices and their wishes. And the outcome has shocked the president with the party of Nelson Mandela and other iconic anti-apartheid heroes now appearing to be a pale shadow of its former self. Africa's oldest party has garnered not the 41% as predicted, but a percentage lower at 40%. A poor record in tackling corruption and rising poverty levels has drawn the anger of South Africans who have been expecting development not the legacy of anti-apartheid activism that the party has been using to rally support. Most of the voters are young people who never lived under the minority white rule, only reading the same in history books. The lesson for ANC that they got 40 percent, that they must speed up their system and do service delivery to the people because the people are hungry, people are struggling. In this vote is my first time not to vote for ANC. I've been voting for ANC since Ne 2012, I think so, yeah, since 2012. So when uh, we check the scan results, the ones that are sent to us by party agents that were taken from the voting stations versus -vis the ones that are scanned and uploaded by the IEC, we see that there's a doctoring of those uh, scanned uh, results. So what we've done now, we've asked the IEC to please open the dispute process so that we can dispute those issues. But the man who has every reason to smile is 82-year-old former president, Jacob Zuma. His party, Umkonto Wesuzwe, is just five months old, yet it has delivered the most devastating blow to ANC. The ruling party seems to be acknowledging it. Zuma ran this country perfectly, so I don't know why they removed him off. So let's put him back and let this South Africa run again, once again. Let's bring our country back together. Let's stand united and give it back to the former president. Expecting good results, and I'm expecting Mr. Zuma to be the president of South Africa, not to only in KZN only, but the war South Africa. For Julius Malema, who has been leading the economic freedom fighters, it is time for reflection. Voters no longer resonate with his noisy, but tough talk on land, pan-Africanism, and racial equity. This animal is going to be eaten piece by piece. We're eating piece by piece, and then Zuma went to take the piece we're going to. But we don't complain. We want to humble the ANC. EFF ranked lower than the former ruling apartheid party, the Democratic Alliance. ANC is now forced to form a coalition with either Zuma or Malema's party. It has been scouting for a partner. We want to work with the ANC. If there's any party that we can work with and work properly, 
is the ANC. Because ANC, when compromised, is not arrogant. But Zuma's party, Mkhonto Wesuzwe, says it doesn't have time for President Ramaphosa. We won't engage with the ANC of Sir Ramaphosa. We can have a discussion with the ANC. But the ANC of Sir Ramaphosa? How is that possible? The fact of the matter is we could be in a position very soon where we will make the determination, who becomes president, and whoever becomes president will be told that you're going to give President Zuma political pardon, presidential pardon, and when he gives the presidential pardon, we'll bring President Zuma back in his National Assembly, put him back as president. Simple as that, before we even change the constitution. As ANC scouts for a possible bride, local analysts in the South African nation agree that this could be the last nail in President Cyril Ramaphosa's political coffin. Lilian Odera, KTN News.